didn't work. We put the rally cap away. I still got it here, but we're just putting it away for now. We're bringing out a crazy colored bang and we're digging right into this thing. Guys, not good. Last night hurt, but make sure you watch this entire video because we're giving you a breakdown between the Red Sox and the Blue Jays. Like I said, we're gonna be rolling with first five inning plays the rest of the week. It's the way to go. These bullpens are getting touched up. Ah, not good stuff. So let's dig right into it. July 27th and let's get it, okay? Here's what we're gonna say though. Last night, we had it, okay? Four runs in the ninth inning, three in the bottom of the ninth. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I don't know. Um, you can sit there, you can harp on it, or you can just move forward. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, let's dig into it. So this game tonight, the Red Sox and the Blue Jays played last night. The Blue Jays had the lead, and the Red Sox came back with an eighth inning comeback victory, reminiscent of their victory against the Yankees a few nights before that. The Blue Jays were in the driver's seat. The bullpen has been an issue all year for the Blue Jays, though. Um, they have no bridge to Jordan Romano, and we saw Trevor Richards give up two runs. Uh, just not good. Now, Matt Barnes, their all-star closer, finished the game for the Red Sox, got it done. Tonight's game, we probably will not see him in the end of the game, pitching two days in a row now. Um, but the Sox also have Otavino, who is absolutely incredible, um, and, and mostly against righties, too, and the Blue Jays are mostly righties. So, you know, if they get into that ninth inning situation, they could get it done again. But the Blue Jays have the line edge here, and we'll talk about that in a second. So, um, you know, Romano did come in to pitch for the Blue Jays. Should be available again tonight anyway. They're also, you know, they have Dolis in the bullpen ready to go. He had last night off. Now, let's talk about the starting pitching edge. It definitely goes to the Blue Jays here, and that's really driving a big portion of our decision. Robbie Ray, um, starting for the Blue Jays. He did get his loss in his last game uh, against the Red Sox, but he's 2-0 at Fenway since joining the Blue Jays. He has easily can go seven innings and ERA in the mid threes. Um, eight and five overall record. Listen, if he can go seven innings here, it really gives the bullpen a rest and there's not much of a bridge to the closing and it could help a lot better for them. Um, the Red Sox have Garrett Richard on the mounds. He's their weakest pitcher this season. The Blue Jays have seen him four times. They've, they've gotten four earned runs in three out of the four games that they've played against him. Now, when they do it, he gives them up early. We're looking at this, and that initially says, boom, first five innings, right? But then you got to look at the fact that in those games, he was giving up the majority of those runs in the sixth inning. Very interesting. So he seems to make it five and then and then give it up in the sixth. But, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to do it. So here's the thing. He is known to be very shaky in the first inning of the game. So he has a lot of nerves. So first inning bad, sixth inning bad. We're going to roll the dice here. He has a 6.33 ERA at home, giving up only three home runs at Fenway. Um, I mean, listen, the righties hit him hard, but they got the green monster there. The wind is blowing out, so we might see some balls go over. Uh, the line says Blue Jays. The Red Sox, they probably shouldn't be an underdog here at home, but they are. They have the best record in baseball. You look at the pitching. The Blue Jays on the money line, it looks great, but we're going to go ahead and do it. We're going to go with the first five innings Toronto Blue Jays money line. It should be around the same thing as the money line for the game, 120, 130, 125, whatever it is. And guys, also, do yourselves a favor. Do me a favor. Put half that amount on, put half whatever you put on the first five on the money line, just for a little little extra zing, okay? We like this play, and we're going to roll with it. The streak ends tonight. Dig in and go for it. I'll see you tomorrow.